Now, Carl, I know you might be worried, so here's a few things to remember while on your driving test. Don't look at anything else, don't think about anything else, don't crash into anything, don't switch on the radio. I appreciate your stress-inducing advice, Officer Mitchell, but I'll be fine. It's just a driving test. No, Carl, that is not the attitude. This test is one of the most important things in your life, so everything you do must be perfect. How hard can it be? You do it. I heard that! Alright, I'll pick you up around 5. Oh, and if we find out you were slacking, you're not getting any dinner. <sighs> Here we go again. Be weary of the hailstorm tomorrow. What's up, Marvin? <coughs> Cuddles, kisses, calm down, it's just Carl. Thanks for picking me up, by the way. Well, Carl, how'd it go? Ha! <sighs> <sighs> I knew you'd fail! How'd he fail? Did you hit a road sign? It's obvious where the road is, why would he need a sign? Unfortunately, you guys were wrong, because I passed! Oh my god, yay! No! Oh. Rats, now I owe Kenny 20 bucks. Well then, honey, we've got a surprise for you. Awesome! My own car! This wasn't quite what I had in mind. Why? What's wrong with it? It costs us 10 bucks each. It's a little small. And really green. I thought you liked the color green, honey. Yeah, and I also like fast food, but I wouldn't drive a car made out of it. I'm sorry, Carl. I feel like I've let you down again. No, Mom, it's fine. I'm sure the car will be great. Hey, how come he gets a car and not me? When you give up your lame-ass rapping and do something with your life, then you'll get a car. Now, Carl, having a car comes with great responsibilities, so remember to take care of this vehicle like it's your life. Thanks, Aaron Paul, but I think I'll be fine. I'm serious, Carl. If anything happens to this car, you'll be in big trouble. Jeez, imagine how much trouble I'd be in if I damaged a good car. I heard that! Yeah, I know it's not very good. Uh, where are the back doors? It's an older model. What, you mean it's not even real? How's that supposed to drive us to school? <laughs> this is the car! Not even I could look good in that! Either way, it's your ride to school, so either get in or you can walk. Alright, alright. Don't be mad at me, Mr. St. Patrick's Day. This car's speed is terrible! My dad's cars are way better! Whatever, at least my car actually exists. <laughs> my mom bought it, okay? What possessed your mom to make her buy a car that looks like Chick Hicks from Disney's Cars? Look, I don't have to give you a free drive to school, so if you're gonna complain, you might as well get out. Alright, fine. It, it still, still sucks, sucks though. <sighs> Let's just get to school. Shh, here come the girls. Hey you guys, what's up? Whose is the car? Oh, it's Carl's. Wow, it's pretty cool. A bit green though, isn't it? Yeah, don't park in front of a green screen, dude. Guys, don't be dicks. It's a pretty nice car, Carl. Thanks, but don't worry. I know it sucks. Yeah, his it's mom bought it for him. <laughs> <laughs> Boo! Shush! Anyways, I have this piano recital tonight, and there's supposed to be this huge hailstorm. Would you mind maybe giving me a drive home? I don't know, Grace. You might get a nuclear disease. I'd love to! I, I mean, yeah, of course. What time? It finishes around 5.30. Will that be okay? Totally! <laughs> hey! Nice car, Mitchell! Oh, great. These guys again. 
I wish they'd leave us alone. Where'd you get that thing? My car could crush it. Yeah, it looks like a booger with wheels. Mr. Green called, he wants his car back. Thanks, guys, really liking this. Just leave him alone, you bullies! Huh, <laughs> he needs a little girl to defend that garbage car. Yeah, I think a car might have blue. Better go get it checked. Ooh, I got one! You ever see the Green Hornet? Shut up, Flake. Man, those guys sure are annoying. Thank you so much, Carl. Yeah, that's so nice. I wish Drybones would pick me up in one of those fancy cars he supposedly has. Baby, I told you, those cars can't just be used, they're for special occasions. Like when you get your first real car? Anyways, I'll be there, don't worry. You can always count on me. Yeah, good luck walking home in this, guys. Oh, I see how it is. Sorry, what? Yeah. <laughs> um, I never promised you guys drives home. My dad was right about you, Carl. Fine, I'll drive you all home. Yay. Have I ever told you how much I value our friendship? It'll be fine. I'll just drop you guys off, head home, then at about 4.45 I'll head to a bath station and top up on fuel so I can be there on time. You don't have time to stop for fuel. Someone else could end up picking her up first. No way, dude. She asked me. You think that's gonna stop him? Yeah, yeah those, those guys, guys kick, kick your ass. ass. What time do you suggest I go there then? I don't know. Get there for about 4.30. That gives you an hour to wait. <laughs> hey, let's stop at Goomburger. What? No way. Come on, man. I'll walk back from there. <laughs> don't worry about that. My dad can pick me up in a Lambo or a Bentley. But I thought those cars were for special occasions. Just drop me off at Goomburger. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm hungry. hungry. <laughs> Fine, we'll go to Goomburger. Yay! Phew, 4.15. That gives me about half an hour. Yo, Carl, we need to go now. Sorry, did I become your personal cab all of a sudden? I need you to drop me off at Kenny's before my dad gets back. He'll kill me if he finds out I've skipped work again. Why don't you just go to work? Don't be stupid, let's just go. We don't have much time, and it's just around the block. <sighs> Fine, let's go. God damn it, Carl, why is it so slow? Go faster! The hill's making it hard to see, dude. I don't want to crash into anything. Let me take the wheel. I could do a way better job. No way, I need the fuel for later anyway. What for? You picking up a girl or something? Maybe. Ha! <laughs> Are you actually? She's just a friend from school, okay? I'm doing her a favor. Well, as your stepbrother, I think it's my duty to give you some advice about women. Always go for the popular ones. The ones with the most friends are always the best. That way you can potentially get a side girl along with your main girl. Always take her where you want to go. That way, she'll know who's in charge. Always lie about the price of things you buy, and use every opportunity to show off how much money you have. And most importantly, don't let her talk to any other boys. That doesn't sound like much of a happy relationship. Who mentioned happy relationships? Those don't mean anything to me. Right, except Mary Lynn, who made you cry. I had something in my eye! Whatever, dude, we're almost there. Rotten peace, scumbag. Oh, hey there, Carl. Sweet ride, man. Thanks for the ride, tell my dad I'm at work. Okay, it's 4.30. I've still got some time to get there. Still, Drybone said I should be there by now. Then again, he takes pride in knowing the alphabet. Wait a second, is that Jim Flag? Odd, what could he be doing out in the hailstorm? What the? What do you want, Mitchell? I'm just curious, what are you doing out in this hailstorm? Piss off! I'm off to meet up with Gooper and the posse! Gooper has a car, why didn't he take you? Duh! He only picks up Liam, Bob, or Chicks. Um, okay. Well, I still got time to spare, so do you want me to drive you? No way! I won't be seeing Dad in a car with you! Fair enough, bye! No, wait! So where shall I drop you off? Around the corner from the base station. There's a bar there, and I don't want to be seen getting out of this gherkin. Fair enough. 
There's going to be so many girls there, I tell you. I hope Liam's sister and her friends will be there. You mean Roxanne, Grace, Talia, and Kylie? Why would they be there? Duh, they're friends of the gang. Well, they say they can't stand us, but Gooper says they really do, and just don't know it yet. Right. I wanted to go out with one of them, but Gooper wouldn't allow it. Um, which one? Oh, just Kylie Alexander. Phew, that was close. She's funny, cool, hot, and really stands out among those other girls that don't say anything. And if you tell anyone I said that, I'll kick your ass! It's cool, man. Your secret's safe with me. Oh. Okay. Anyways, I told them I wanted to, but Goober said I looked like Sloth from the Goonies, and said she's off limits for the likes of me. Then Bob went out with her for a few months, and he and Liam recorded my reaction to the news. It's on his Koopa book page. If they were your real friends, they wouldn't treat you that way. They are two of my real friends! I'm in the gang! I hang around with them all the time! Oh yeah? Then why weren't you at that New Year's party Gooper was hosting? It was a small get-together! Those two guys who don't see or do anything were there! Whatever, man. Just drop me off. We're miles away from the station. Just drop me off! Grace, we have to get going. There was this auction on TV tonight. But this guy promised me he'd pick me up. I don't want him to drive up here for nothing. Oh, I guess that's way more important. Come on! Alright, here I am. Now to play the waiting game. God damn it, the connection's garbage! I knew I shouldn't have used all my data in the school toilets between lessons. <sighs> it's been an hour. I bet now she's gone to that bar with some other guy who got here first. <sighs> I can't believe it. This has been an absolute disaster. I guess it helped a few people, though. That's gotta count for something. Don't be such a moron, son. Dad? What are you doing in my car? And why does your voice sound so weirdly deep? It's a new season, so I thought I'd mix it up a bit. Anyway, I'm here to tell you to stop being such a beta male pushover. Come on, they're my friends. I couldn't just tell them to piss off. I should have just been quicker and I'd be fine. I can try again. No! If you had just told these selfish assholes to piss off, then you could have picked her up and potentially got lucky. Instead, you had to go do your stupid friends a bunch of favors. I guess so. But I could try again. I'm sure I could make it next time. <laughs> you think there's gonna be a next time? How do you know this guy who's picked her up in your place won't turn out to be her future boyfriend, huh? Um, well, there's no way that happened. She wouldn't just get off with some random guy who picks her up. Besides, Drybones can't be right. He's never right. Son, watch the road! Ah! <sighs> oh no! Kelvin's gonna kill me! I guess I have to get home some way. You're kidding! Now it works perfectly? 